According to a statement by a senior intelligence official of the Trump administration, we have 20 years of diplomacy and sanctions under our belt that has failed to stop the North Korean program. That means the tactics we've used for the last 20 years do not appear to be working, and the US government is looking for an alternative way to deal with North Korea. But what does that mean exactly? Could it mean going so far as to assassinate Kim Jong Un? Welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, I'm Charlotte Dobre, and the question we are going to answer today is, what if Kim Jong Un was assassinated? Up until the Cold War, assassinating a world leader was a major component of American national security. Nowadays though, it's pretty frowned upon, and you've got President Ford to thank for that. His executive order states the following, No employee of the United States government shall engage or conspire to engage in political assassination. Then President Reagan reiterated that restriction with Executive Order 12333. So assassinating Kim Jong Un is not something that would happen lightly, at least not by the US government. But what if we were left with no other option? Would assassinating Kim Jong Un solve the world's problems. It is normal to think that if we got rid of Kim Jong Un, one of the main sources of tension, North Korea would magically become a democratic and stable nation. But the fact is, it wouldn't. In fact, it's likely the war would continue without him. North Korea is a nuclear weapons state, with missiles ready to take out the city of Seoul. That includes taking out the US military bases in Seoul. Kim Jong Un has been killing and imprisoning anyone who is even a small threat to his control. He even killed his own uncle and half brother because of that. Are we really to assume that all the people close to him will suddenly turn against Kim Jong Un? Yes, many of them live in fear, but maybe there are many who are loyal to him as well, and those loyal to him could retaliate against the US if Kim Jong Un is assassinated. Not to mention, if you get rid of Kim Jong Un, someone will replace him as head of state. If that person is someone just as unpredictable, like perhaps Kim's sister Kim Yo Jung, that could be a problem. Kim Yo Jung is often seen behind Kim Jong Un in pictures, and has been rumored to have run the affairs of North Korea whenever her brother was sick. She's already an extremely powerful influence, almost like a White House chief of staff, and would likely retaliate should anything happen to her brother. Not a lot is known about Kim Yo Jung, but assassinating a head of state is an act of war, and would likely be responded to as such, especially if the next person in the line of power is someone who would want revenge. However, North Korea is a nation that is completely dependent on the cult of personality. As soon as something like an assassination is carried out on the supreme leader of North Korea, he's not so supreme anymore, is he? All of a sudden, Kim Jong Un becomes vulnerable, and that takes away the illusion of him being invincible. So what if someone decent and level-headed did succeed him. Kim Jong-un has assassinated several of his family members who sought to defy him. That means there are some whispers of reform among the people close to him, so maybe things would begin to change. But Kim Jong-un at this time has no clear successor, and because of that, the government could very well collapse, split in two, and civil war would likely break out. A civil war in North Korea would be devastating, a humanitarian disaster. The Kim dynasty has created so much instability. The economy is unsuccessful, the agriculture industry is barren, and the nuclear weapons program drains North Korea's resources. It's a pretty terrible thing to realize, but the singular leadership in North Korea is the one thing that's keeping it from falling apart. What do you think would happen if Kim Jong Un was assassinated? Let us know in the comments below as well as any topics you would like to see next. I'm Charlotte Dobre for LBQ. Don't forget to like this video, share it with a friend, and subscribe for more answers.